Hello students, welcome back to your English class. Today we are going to do another type of directed writing that is statement of purpose. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand what is statement of purpose, understand where statement of purpose is required and write statement of purpose in your own words. First of all, what is statement of purpose or SOP? Statement of purpose or SOP is a personal statement about a person, his interests, the influences he had in life and his future plans. It is not just a bold statement of facts but may include anecdotes, stories or description of a person's experiences and ideals. Anecdote is a short amusing or interesting story about a real incident or person. So, as the full form of SOP reveals, a statement of purpose is an essay stating the purpose of applying to a particular course in a particular university. This essay consists of a gist of who you are, who you want to become and how ready you are to pursue a certain course in an institution. The essay seeks to understand the candidate's life, the motivations for the chosen career path and his or her goals. Now, what is the purpose of writing a statement of purpose? It is usually written for admission into a particular course in an educational institute or while applying for a job to state the purpose for joining a particular course or institute or applying for a particular job. The SOP is a chance for a person to talk directly to the selectors and to make oneself stand out among a multitude of similarly qualified candidates. So, children, a well-written SOP is very important. There are many aspects of a candidate's application that are inspected before finalizing a decision. And SOP is the only document in an application that gives the candidate the opportunity to prove that he or she has something unique that makes him or her stand out from the crowd. It is their chance of impressing the committee or the selectors by presenting their profile strongly through an essay that describes their personality traits which are not covered in their academic documents. So while drafting an SOP, you need to keep in mind that the admission committee or the selectors will be reviewing thousands of applications for the same course. Thus, not only does your SOP need to be crisp and precise, it should also highlight the uniqueness in your profile. So here are a few points that should be kept in mind while writing an SOP. The SOP should convince the readers that you are genuinely interested in joining a particular institute or applying for a job. Introduce yourself, your interests and motivations. Elaborate on your academic interests. Give convincing reasons for joining a particular course or institute or applying for a particular job. Emphasize everything from a positive perspective and write in active not in passive voice. Children keep in mind here the one who is writing the SOP is important. So you should write in active voice not in passive voice where object is important. Demonstrate everything by example. Demonstrate means show by one's actions. Don't say directly that you are a persistent person. Show it. Persistent means continuing firmly in a course of action in spite of difficulty. So whatever you want to tell the selectors or the admission committee, you need to show it through examples. Don't just simply say that you are a persistent person or hardworking person. Show how you are a hardworking person, how you are a persistent person. So now let us go through a model statement of purpose. 
let us go through the outline first the first thing we need to write are personality traits traits means characteristics interests reasons for choosing a particular institute that means why we are choosing this particular institute reasons for being selected in the given institute just like you are choosing a particular institute you need to tell them why they should select you in their institute role of the institute in achieving your goals and aspirations so how the institute is going to help you to achieve what you want to achieve so children mostly in the first paragraph we can explain the background in two three lines and connect it with the future goals or we may write about an anecdote that helped us realize our professional interest in the chosen field and here you must keep in mind at all times this should be remembered which course we are writing the sop for let's read to reach and claim the heights has always been the driving force behind all my endeavors driving force means someone or something that has the power to make things happen endeavors means attempts a self motivated focused and disciplined student i have always maintained a good academic record i have always been fascinated by english language and literature fascinated means strongly attracted and interested that is what drifted me to study english literature in school with a keen interest therefore i am eager to pursue a course in english literature at the university level pursue means engage in so in the first paragraph we have talked about the characteristic traits like self motivated focused disciplined we have also talked about good academic record okay so you need to write all good qualities about yourself after this you need to mention the course for which you are writing the sop for here we are talking about english so we have refer to english language and english literature in the school okay for example if you are talking about studying computer science in a country you must discuss about all your encounters experiences and learnings of computer science do not miss out on anything important and do not talk about the rest of the things too much now come to the next point this is an important paragraph in this paragraph we are going to tell the reasons for choosing this particular institute the selectors should be convinced that we know about the department and the institute thoroughly and thus we are applying in it and not applying randomly okay so let's go through it in order to be successful in life right mentoring is required and i am sure that abc college is the best institute which can lead to the total growth of my personality because now we are going to give the reasons mentoring means training so now we are going to give the reasons why we have chosen this particular institute so it is the best institute with a brand name successful alumni and prestige involved which itself acts as a motivation to excel brand name means notable and famous alumni actually alumni is the plural of alumnus which means a former pupil or student excel means perform exceptionally well so we are talking about the institute why i have chosen this institute because it has a brand name that means it is quite notable and famous institute moreover the students who have passed out from this institute they are well placed they have got good position they have got successful career and uh, the institute is prestigious okay so all these motivate a person to excel in their chosen field from the knowledge gained from my seniors who were a part of this institute i have learnt that a education pursued in this college is life enriching and that is what i am seeking b 
the student teacher bonding which is the very basis of learning inspires every student of this college to reach for the sky and the deep bonding they continue to experience with their alma mater is a proof enough of the role of the college in shaping their lives see the long list of literati and the famous journalists who have made a mark in life are proof enough for me to understand that this is the institute for studying english literature enriching means enhancing the quality or value of alma mater means the university school or college that one formerly attended literati means well educated people who are interested in literature so again in this paragraph we are continuing by describing how this institute is a suitable institute for us so we are referring to the kind of uh, curriculum available over here the education that is provided here that is life enriching then we can talk about the strong bond that is shared by students and teachers and after the students leave the institute how they are still connected to it how they are experiencing the deep bond with their alma mater okay and also we are referring to those people the alumni the literati who have studied from here the famous journalists who have studied from here they have made a distinct place for themselves and so they are a proof that this institute is going to provide the kind of education that i am seeking so children as you have explained why this institute is chosen by you you must also explain why the institute should choose you you must also highlight how you have prepared yourself to join this particular institute in brief you can tell your academic background what you have done so far your academic strengths your achievements in co curricular activities hobbies etc so passionate about my dream of joining the best institute of the country i worked extremely hard to score 96% marks in class 12 exams apart from excelling in academics i have won numerous laurels for my school in a number of co curricular activities at state and national level like olympiads quizzes and intra and inter school debating competitions Playing guitar is my most preferred avocation. My other hobbies include swimming and reading novels. Laurels means honor or praise awarded for an achievement. Avocation means hobby. So here children we have talked about how many marks we got in the previous class. We have also talked about our participation in various co-curricular activities. we have also talked about hobbies so in this paragraph we must tell about how we are ideal candidates for this institute with our talent previous experiences and interest how and what we can contribute to the institute as a whole so this is kind of two way process if we receive admission our career will get a kick start and through our efforts and participation the institute can receive benefits now comes the closing paragraph since this is a closing paragraph we should sound focused and prepared for all the challenges that come our way this paragraph should show that we have the zest in us to succeed and with the help of the chosen course and this institute will definitely make a difference so i am confident that these interests of mine would attain greater levels of excellence in this college and mold me into a gentleman imbued with right values of life imbued means filled so in this way we have concluded our statement of purpose so i hope you have understood how to write a statement of purpose this brings us to the end of today's lesson for your homework children solve the assignment given to you in your snap homework Thank you.